If you're wanting to monitor and control the data being extracted by so-called trackers in applications and games on Android, there are a few great options to choose from. Today I want to show you a really popular, free, and open source application called Tracker Control. The team has analyzed about 2 million applications and combined their own in-house block list with the disconnect block list that Firefox uses in order to reveal the companies behind tracking your personal data. They then use that information to selectively block and categorize these trackers while also sharing the reasons behind them whether it be for analytics or advertising. Tracker Control also has a section to help educate you about your data protection rights in areas such as the EU General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR for short. The application is able to do this by using Android's VPN feature but they're keeping everything local when it comes to the traffic going through this VPN. The application can be downloaded on GitHub, FDroid, Izzy on Android, and even the Google Play Store, although the version on Google Play does not block tracking due to Google's terms of service policies. I'll even be including a direct link in the video description below for the version I'm using now that was downloaded from GitHub. So whenever we install the tracker control application, we're going to need to enable the VPN feature, which can be done by tapping the toggle in the top left. Now, after we install, it's going to ask you if you want to enable the strict enforcement or the essential data sharing trackers. However, realize that if you enable this feature, it could break many applications as the trackers being used are considered essential. For example, when I enabled some of these trackers, the weather widget application that I use simply would not work. With that enabling some trackers on the Google News application, it had stopped being updated with new content for me. And applications like YouTube Music can't play certain things if some of these trackers are blocked. Now that doesn't mean that you have to allow all of them, but this application gives you the ability to pick and choose. It also comes with a persistent notification that allows you to pause the service for X number of minutes. We can see this defaults to 10 minutes, but changing this to one minute was enough for it to be useful for me. I installed this on the Galaxy S22, which I only have limited applications installed on. I mainly just use it for photos. But you can see the type of tracking that's being blocked here. This is the section to educate you about your user data rights. And we can even find out where the phone is sending tracking data. I also installed it on my daily driver. And even though it's running Lineage OS, we can see that having this application installed and enabled, how much of your personal data is being extracted and sent to these other companies. So you can see for Chrome, all of these trackers were blocked and they were blocked due to advertising. 
we're also blocking these trackers, which are being used for analytics. And then as mentioned, this is the essential category. So if you have enabled that essential list by default, then your application may not function properly unless you go in and manually disable this essential category. I was unable to visit a number of websites in Chrome until I disabled this. And again, the same can be said with Google News. It stopped refreshing new content until I came in here and disabled that essential section. So I do like the ability to enforce strict blocking across the entire device, but then being able to manually come in after noticing that Google News was not updating properly, that I could just come in here and disable this in order to get Google News to function well. But again, remember you could always just go in here and pause the service for a limited amount of time and then open up the application so that it can refresh properly if that's the way you want to go. Tracker Control also has a traffic log that will let you analyze applications network traffic. However, do take note that this could very well result in a lot of battery usage from the feature being on, and that is why it is disabled by default. There are a lot of things that Tracker Control can do, and I'm not able to go into all of these features in this video, so I do recommend you check out and read their GitHub page. You're going to find this linked in the video description below. Remember, this application is free, it is open source, and it is a great way to both monitor and block your personal data from being sent to other companies via these application trackers on Android.